Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I wanted to do my nails today, so I thought I would film it for a video. I recently did um, like a glazed, I guess you could call it the glazed donut look using chrome powder, but on top of a nice pretty lemon yellow of sorts. I have this Beatles nail polish called, it has a name, I think it's called it's lemon something, but it's not on the bottle. I used this nail polish and applied chrome powder on top, and I really liked how it looked. I think it's perfect for spring or summer. So I'm going to recreate that in today's video. Just do a casual nail video, so if you're interested in that, then just keep watching. I have my electrolyte water here. We were just hanging out by the pool for a little bit, and I decided to come inside and do my nails. I am going to be using nail tips, and I'm going to use the Gelix method to apply the nail tips. Some of my favorite nail tips are from BT Art Box. They have so many different styles at this point. They have clear ones, they have neutral colored ones where they come in like a pink, a nude, or a darker nudie brown of sorts. They have French tip ones. Um, they're coming out with some more styles. They have a milky white one, and they come in different shapes, different sizes. You name it, they have it. You can buy them on Amazon or you can buy it on BTR Box. This is not a paid sponsorship video by any means. I just love their nail tips and they're just kind of the ones that I always use for the Gelix method. I do have a few videos kind of doing a rundown of prep, nail prep, and then also application, things like that. But I did want to mention that when I first did the glazed donut lemon yellow look, I did not use, I followed all the steps that I usually do. One thing that I didn't use is this Young Nails Protein Bond right here. This is the only thing that I left out when I was doing my nails. Everything else I kept exactly the same. And I was able to basically peel off my nails almost. They were, like my nails in general, even with prep and everything, for me just gel products, things like that, come off a lot easier than for most people. But I left out the protein nail bond and I was literally able to kind of like peel those off. So I do feel that this does really help me with longevity. So if you're struggling struggling with longevity, I would highly recommend applying this into your like first initial steps. So usually what I'll do is I will push back the cuticle, trim it if you need to, and then file down the nail plate a little bit. I have these nail files I got on Amazon just to kind of roughen them up a little bit to make sure that you don't have like a really smooth surface because the nail tip does need something to adhere to. Then I'll take some isopropyl alcohol, wipe down my nail plate to make sure it's free of any um, dust, oil, anything like that. And then I'll go in with the Young Nail Protein Bond right here. And this you apply onto the nail plate, try not to get it on the skin, and it air dries. You don't need to cure it. And then once you have this on, that's when you go in with the Gelix method or whatever else you're going to be doing. But I just wanted to mention that little tidbit if somebody struggles with longevity. Highly recommend that product. I think I'm going to use these short ones in today's video. This is their short square, I believe. You can use these for the Jolix method. They might look like they're pretty opaque because they're stacked, but once you take it off, you'll see that they're pretty transparent. So the gel is able to fully cure underneath the gel glue. Usually I do this before I apply the protein bond, but I'm going to go ahead and size out the nail tips. You want them to fit really well in the nail plate. You don't want them to be too oversized where they're kind of touching the skin. And you don't want them to be too short where here's your natural nail and then the nail tip is like shorter or not as wide as your natural nail. So you want them to go from sidewall to sidewall and be the perfect fit. I'm gonna hold the lamp in between my legs just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. But I'm gonna be using the Una Gela Nail Glue. I personally love it because it's a thicker jelly consistency so I don't get any air bubbles with this formula. I'm gonna go ahead and place a dot on the underside of the nail tip, kind of like so. Or if it's not wanting to focus. I'd rather have a little bit too much than too little because if you have too little, that means you don't have enough glue under there. You might have air pockets. If you have too much and a little bit oozes out, not a crazy amount, but if a little bit oozes out, you're able to work around that and peel it off or clip it off or something. And then at a 45 degree angle, you want to place it at the cuticle and apply pressure downward until you see all of that glue spread out evenly through the nail plate. And you'll be able to see it spread out. And then while you're holding it down, you tap the nail lamp, place your nail under there, and then let it cure until the light turns off. And then also these nail tips are pre-buffed. At least they're supposed to be. I feel like these might be a little bit more smooth. So if you feel that you struggle with longevity, you might wanna take a nail file, like an electric drill, e-drill, 
and kind of file the underside a little bit as well to give it some extra like roughen it up a little bit so that it adheres a little bit better because the smoother something is the less likely it is to adhere all right i have all the nail tips on now i'm just fully curing them I already cured this hand this is what the nail tips look like on you can leave them like this and just add a gel top coat and you'll be good to go it's like a very easy manicure I am going to scuff up the tops a little bit with my nail file and then apply a gel base coat, cure that, apply the yellow gel nail polish, cure that, and then go in with the chrome powder. So I'll show you guys as I do that. These are a bit short for my liking, I will say, but they're nice if you want something very natural and you want like a thicker nail plate instead of using builder gel. I'm going to add a layer of this yellow from Beatles. It's a really pretty light yellow color and it is transparent. So you'll need about two coats. Do one coat, cure it, then do another coat. I'm just going to do one coat since I'm going to be applying chrome powder on top. And you're not really going to be able to see any streakiness once the chrome powder is on. But if you're doing solely just this gel polish, then you're going to need two coats because it is pretty, it's not very opaque. Here's the end result. I want to show you guys what it looks like outside, but really happy with how it came out. Super pretty yellow with the chrome powder on top. I'll link everything down below, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos.